Hello, my name is Lillian Ozo, National Director of World Vision in Kenya. Faith leaders play a unique and essential role in supporting and protecting children during and after public health crisis. We realize this in a new way during the West Africa Ebola crisis, when the tide turned positively in the fight against Ebola, when faith leaders, through the establishment of safe and dignified burial practices, entered into the dialogue as essential public health partners. Faith leaders are, faith leaders are trusted in conveying vital, accurate health prevention and care messaging. In COVID-19, local faith communities across the world have played a pivotal role. In many countries, faith leaders made joint interfaith statements with accurate science-based information aligned with their local ministry of health or the WHO standards. We know that 84% of the world's people identify as people of faith. We also know that in Sub-Saharan Africa, where I live, 74% of people say faith leaders are their most trusted local leader. What faith leaders say has impact on people's lives, on their beliefs, attitudes, and ultimately their behaviors. Trusted local leaders have reached out to their networks through technology, including radio, WhatsApp, and other creative virtual means. Faith communities also have unique reach and knowledge about the most vulnerable children, whether they are in rural or urban communities, as well as children on the move. In places where we have strong pre-existing relationships of trust with local faith leaders, we have been able to mobilize very quickly. We see that people take on messages and new work quickly when there is a foundation of trust. In Kenya, for example, we've used sanitation campaigns with faith leaders uh, to carry out messaging using virtual PA systems through the radio and through integration of sanitation messaging into sermons for those who are back attending church. Faith leaders play an essential role in providing spiritual support, which is an essential contributor to resilience and overall health and well-being for children and their families. We are seeing tremendous creativity in our faith partners as they ensure reach into children's lives and families even while maintaining social distancing and adhering to lockdowns. Our, our World Vision staff have developed virtual psychosocial first aid training to faith leaders who are leveraging it and using it to support children and families in a wide range of locations, including in Ghana, Indonesia, Latin America, as well as here in Kenya. Again, a national assessment supported by World Vision and coalition partners in Bangladesh revealed beatings by parents or guardians had increased by 42% and that there was a 40% increase of calls to child helpline. We are also seeing an increase in teenage pregnancies, aligning with experiences in previous times of school closure. With increase in teenage pregnancies looming, and policies and practices that ban pregnant girls and young mothers from school, an estimated one million girls in sub-Saharan Africa may be blocked or excluded from returning to school once they reopen after closures due to COVID-19. It is therefore essential that we engage with faith leaders to show up existing systems and adapt to virtual referral and reporting systems when necessary. Faith leaders are often the first stop for families in crisis. And while we often have seen strong desire by many faith leaders to support and adjust to virtual reporting and referral systems, we have learned that we need to strengthen these efforts at communicating how formal and informal systems are working in the midst of a public health crisis such as COVID-19. In Kenya, once again, pastor, pastors in a county called West Pokot met virtually 
to learn about monitoring and reporting on female genital mutilation or child marriage cases since all children are locked down at home. The faith leaders followed up with specific children to ensure their welfare. These included children who were known to be vulnerable to early marriage or female genital mutilation even before COVID-19. We also know that COVID-19 has been used to close borders and create fear and xenophobia. Again, we see faith leaders as community leaders have had an important role to play in building community and promoting solidarity. Many faith leaders and groups have taken active role in joining interfaith national statements of unity, speaking out against false information, and doing their part to dispel false information and harmful hate speech against minority groups of foreigners. In Kenya, faith leaders have been an essential actor in the fight against COVID-19, supporting children and their families and contributing to end violence. We believe as World Vision that an all of society approach is necessary if we are to effectively combat the pandemic and continue to build resilient, healthy and peaceful communities. We are seeing it working in Kenya and we know that it's going to be effective in the rest of the world.